Nope. Check to see. YouTube should be on. Check, check, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, two people waiting on YouTube. Hello there, everybody. <gasps> hey, YouTube. Let's see if Facebook is on. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hello, everyone. Mm -mm. So we just got back from getting Jack from school. So I think we're just about prepared. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Not failed this time. No. <laughs> All right. I haven't failed yet. Keep the streak alive, please. <laughs> what does everybody have to say? Oh, I need to get the bowl. Everyone's saying hi. hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Hello, 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 everyone. Hi. So today it's Mike and Dave. Amy was Amy Hebel was the first one on YouTube. Today. Nice. Today it's Mike and Dave again, and we're going to be making stir fry, chicken stir fry, and we actually have some leftover chicken that we can do that with. So yay! Hey um, Jamie. Hey Jamie. Should have kidnapped mom again. Uh, okay. Just mom isn't gonna be on that much. I'm quickie looking to see. Alrighty. I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> That's what I was trying to see. Okay. Alright. I've done this before, but not using the recipe. <laughs> so, so that's why I was taking a moment to take a look at that since we just got back from getting Jack Oh, do you want to wait like five minutes before we start to let everyone get on? We're still getting hellos, hellos. Hi, everyone. Hello. Any comments there? I mean, I'm going to say hello, but are there any comments or questions that aren't hello? Just in case. Cheryl made the egg rolls yesterday, and they were delicious. Oh, yay. I'm glad you liked them. <laughs> Actually, they didn't last very long here. As soon as Ellie saw them, she snarked them like she a pig. She snarked them. Hey, no, not like a pig. Okay, well, I'm not quite Okay, well, she did snarf them, but. But she snarfed them relatively fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So. Well, I mean, don't pigs eat fast? But it's hmm? fast. Don't pigs eat fast? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start working on cutting these things. We are making this stir fry. It's on page 267 in the 20th anniversary edition. Um, oh, I should. I don't recall what, what page it is, it is in the classic. In the classic, we but just sold 500. Dave is going to <laughs> Wait, what look it, it up real quick, and then we're going to he'll post a link for you guys. So this stir fry recipe is actually really easy to make, and I've uh, I've made stir fry a lot of times, but I don't usually use the recipe because I cheat. <laughs> page 208 in the classic edition. And what page are And you? it's page 267 in the 20th anniversary edition of our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Yay. Okay, so I just had a cook before this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make this pretty much according to the recipe, except I don't really like peanut butter. Let me rephrase that. I really don't like peanut butter. <laughs> so I'm going to leave peanut butter out. Mm -hmm. But... Um, it is, it's not necessary to keep it in if you don't like it. And one thing that's cool about this recipe is you can change or modify. Who's running the camera? Judy wants to know. <laughs> uh, hey, Jack. We're using the force. No, I was going to say I'll probably have Dave do it because I'm thinking Jack is otherwise occupied at the moment. Uh, okay, there you go. I'm going to make it today with chicken, but you could actually make it with beef or uh, turkey or um, pork, like pulled pork. Or Hello, you can Goshen. just make it vegetables if you like. Hey, out of hey, Goshen. Family. Ask, if they got water. Uh, ask out of Goshen if they got water. Mm -hmm. Eric, did you guys get water? I am not sure what Tar is referring to, so I must have missed that part. Oh no. Uh, okay, Jack, I'm gonna have you be the camera operator. Okay. So, yay. All right. So I'm gonna start just by cutting these items uh, and making sure that we have plenty of them. Jack? Okay. Do, 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 do. In a bowl, mix the peanut butter, soy sauce, and hot sauce. Okay, we're not doing the peanut butter. And I'm not going to start the, the pan yet, even though the instructions show us doing that, because I, um, 
because I don't want to singe the garlic, which is one of the things that we're browning in there. So let's see. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, hey, uh, I should ask our studio audience. Your studio audience isn't working. Why don't you leave, studio audience? Come on, Jamie, come kidnap our studio audience again. Oh, okay. And a half take, teaspoon of hot sauce. Take the All car right. and take yourself on a date to Chipotle or something. So the other day, uh, Jamie came and rescued Tara from the show. Rescued? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna wait on the cornstarch too. Oh yeah, go ahead and tilt the camera down. Sorry, oh. I forgot about Hi. that. Oh. So why are we asking so many questions if the book is supposed to, if the book tells oh, you how? Dang it. Hmm. Never mind. I was gonna say, how are we supposed to? Why are we asking questions? Is that confusing? All right. What do you mean? Why are we asking questions? Oh. So why are we asking our studio audience? Oh, I was just wondering since I didn't put peanut butter in, if I should put extra of the other two things. Oh, okay. If I need to use the same amount of veggies. I'm gonna get some okay. Nutella. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we should go see. That would be an interesting Maybe show. Tell us stir fry. You tell us how it is, babe. Well, that would be interesting. A little chocolate stir fry there. Actually, I don't know. That could be good in a weird kind of way. I mean, yeah. So, the other day when we made the egg rolls, which turned out fabulous, by the way, uh, I bought some cabbage because I didn't want to bother Tara to ask her if we had any. And it turns out we did have some. So, I thought, I'll make this, this and we'll use up the rest of the cabbage. So let's see, where are we? Do, do, do. Cabbage, where's the cabbage? Uh, two cups, okay. Just wanna make sure. You don't actually have to make this with the particular exact amount. I'm just, oh, actually, wait, why am I shredding it? Um, oh, it does say shredded, okay. Oh, do you have the shredder on the show notes? Yes. You can't watch them. You can't watch that. You're banned. <laughs> <laughs> banned from your own channel. That must be rough. Yes. So, I've made stir fry before with you can use all kinds of vegetables. This recipe calls for cabbage, green peppers, onions, and celery, and garlic. And well, of course, you always want garlic in there. <clears throat> life, life lives for garlic. <laughs> So, um, but I don't usually make it with cabbage. I more often make it with broccoli and carrots and things. But I actually saw a recipe today that had mushrooms and, was it broccoli? That looked really good too. So the cool thing about this is you can, you can modify it. Mostly the recipe is best for the sauce and for, you know, making sure you cook it um, the right amount of time. Okay, that looks like actually more than two cups, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> wow, you should see Mike's messy counter. All right, two stalks of celery. <clears throat> so did Adam Goshen say whether they got their water? Oh, I forgot to check. And also, can you see, still see the cutting board? Uh, it looks like it. Okay. And I didn't take a lot of notice. I mean, I didn't know that we had pretty much all this stuff in the fridge, but just in case I was wrong, I wasn't too worried about it because we have uh, frozen broccoli in the freezer, and we also have more frozen peppers in the freezer. Apparently the well is finally working. Oh, yay. So that's good. Hooray. Woo. Yeet. So Yeet. the instructions on this talk about starting to uh, brown the garlic and stuff and while you're slicing vegetables, but I just as soon slice them first, so that's what I'm doing. All right. Two onions, and since they're small, I might throw the rest of this red onion in there. This is a great way to use leftovers, and it turns out we had a lot of leftovers in these things. Oh, I didn't show you guys. So we had one pepper in the fridge, and it's getting a little soft, so I don't want it to go bad, so I'm gonna use that. Tara slices these 
peppers. If she gets them uh, a really good deal on them, she'll slice them and we'll put them in the freezer. The, when it starts to get the ice like that, it's probably been in the freezer. It's bordering on too long. <laughs> so I'm gonna use some of these as well. And we often use these for fajitas and other things like that. They freeze pretty well, um, but after a while, or if you let some moisture get in there, they can start to get like that and they'll freeze or burn if you leave them too long like that. And then we also had a little bit of ginger that I didn't notice the other day. So I'm gonna use that as well. So, go ahead and work on these. And actually, oh, it says slice on the onions. Okay, good. I don't like to chop the onions, but you can do what you want. But I like them to have a little bit of texture, so I usually just slice them, and that's what the recipe is actually calling for, so yay. And if you're just joining us, we're making stir fry from our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Uh, and Dave has a link for the yeah. recipe if you don't have the cookbook. Oh, the, oh wait, I do? Uh, it should be the first one. Oh, on the yep. List. Found it. All You're right. Awesome, guys. I got it. You are awesome, Dave. We oh. love you, Dave. Oh, my audience, my our studio audience is praising me. Woohoo! Good job, Dave. For posting in the link. Best co-host ever. Hashtag okay. you love Dave. <laughs> so I'm just Hashtag slicing dump Tara and keep Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just slicing them like this because I like to have the big chunks. Actually, maybe I should make slightly smaller chunks. I'm just joking, Mom. You can come back anytime you like. <laughs> uh oh, Dad didn't think about this. Slicing onions. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> just kidding. I actually am getting teary eyed. It's not burning very much, but I forgot about slicing onions. Mm. All right. Well, I think it's just more of a hassle to do. Uh, the crying isn't bad because we're, we do it right. But. <laughs> so if you've been watching the last few shows, Mike is having a chicken frenzy craving right now. Obviously. Tar says obviously. Tar, who's not on the show, says obviously. She's over there reading her book, so she is honestly trying to... Tess Cooks for You is on. Hello. Who's next to her book? Are you... Huh? Are you crying? I'm crying a little bit. Dad's crying. <laughs> Test cooks for you is on. Me. Oh, is it? Is, yeah. I don't know what that is. They're new to the channel. I oh, think. Test cooks for you. Oh, I didn't realize that was you were another channel. Yeah, 112. Test cooks for you on YouTube. A 112k. Yeah. Cool. Well, hello. Oh, we should get we should get verified. I forgot about that. Okay, so that calls for two onions. Actually, wow, that's a lot of onions. Oh, that's all right. We're going to fry them down so they won't be too spicy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Margaret Bedwell hopes that next week is Mexican food. Yeah, actually, I was going to try to make... Tacos. Um, yeah, I was going to try to make asada tacos today, but when I got to looking at it, I realized, oh, I need to marinate this ahead of time, and I didn't. So, Marinating bully for me. <laughs> Yeah, can you see this too? The bowl yeah, where I'm putting all these things. It's on the bottom it's... So I'm just kind of putting all the veggies in here together. This is the mic way, you don't have to do it that way. Okay, now I'm going to get to cut up the pepper here. Oops. And I, there's no particular way that I'm aware of that you're supposed to cut this. I just cut the middle out. And then I slice it into slices like... Actually, I usually slice them like this. Whoa, man, Mike is still crying from the onions. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Get us together. They were people. in the fridge, so I didn't anticipate it. If you're really picky, you can cut this stuff out of the middle, but I don't really care usually, so. Buster is grazing for some nibbies. And this is one of those recipes that the older kids will eat, but the younger kids not so fond of because they don't like anything with doodads in it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we had a power outage today for, it was only about 20 minutes, but we were uh, trying to look up some orders and it, everything, just everything went off. down. Yeah. So, I'm going to leave some of these. Actually, I should make them all the same size, but I left some long. Ooh! Tar says somebody's watching from Japan. Who is that? Okay, let's see. It is... 
Let's see, celery, onions, peppers. Oh, oh, Aiko. I, did I say that right? I only got one pepper there, so I'm gonna put some of these in here. This will make them colorful too. So, woohoo. Yeah, I saw that people were looking up how to make it, how to make with frozen vegetables. And I was thinking, you know, it's really not any different. <laughs> Okay, it's got everything except the mixture, except the ginger, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the ginger. And I don't, I'm not gonna put the ginger in there. Let's see. Is that ginger okay, dear? Uh, well, you just need to cut off the brown part right there. That's what I thought. Okay. <gasps> All right. Oh, sorry. Do I kill this? <laughs> Mike has not actually used the ginger fresh before. Maybe you need to do more delicious, delicious dishes with Dave. Ooh. Or Dave's delicious dishes. Someone go. else came up with that a few days ago. Dave's so delicious credit dishes. Credit to you, whoever that is. <laughs> credit to you, whoever you are. <laughs> I totally forgot. Sorry. He was in the middle of something when I came up. So, yeah. All right. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing good, thanks. Okay. We've heard from the local studio audience. Now, how are all of you doing online? <laughs> all right, I didn't uh, peel this very well, so I'm kind of cutting around it a little bit. There we go. I would say it says three to four slices. I have a few extra veggies, so I'm gonna cut a little bit more. What? Oh, you want this in there? Oh, there you go. Jennifer, you these too? Jennifer E says, do it, Dave. Woohoo! Remember Dave's delicious dishes. That was me. Okay, and it says minced, so I'm gonna mince it with the chopper. Oops. Because <laughs> I'm too lazy to do it with the knife. Oh, except I don't want to get all this other stuff on there because I think I have to prep that separately. All right. And that ginger can be pretty potent, potent, so I'm gonna get it into small enough pieces. You guys didn't see that, but I just caught that with my knee. <laughs> that was a pretty MLG. <laughs> that was an MLG trick shot. <laughs> that means Major League Gaming? Oh, no. Is that right? Yeah, Major League Gaming. Okay, and two cloves of garlic, but you know what? I like garlic, so I'm gonna use three, especially since I threw some extra, well, I might even use four. Dude, we threw in a lot of garlic for the pizzas. Yeah. And it tasted so good. You know, the thing about garlic Except is... Except for we didn't crunch it up enough, but still. It is possible to use too much, but it's not easy to use too much. You, you can't... Yeah, your taste buds won't die, like, with onions. Or... Yeah. <laughs> for Mike, uh, garlic is my absolute favorite spice or seasoning. And I put it on almost everything. And the... Uh, who was it that asked about Mexican? Tara had left me a note before saying, you should make enchiladas, but I do that a lot. I might still do it, but I was really wanting to make some asado, asada tacos or tacos al cabón or something like that. Okay. I'm gonna cut these into small pieces too. Actually, I might just use the chopper. All right. Yum. Man, I should put twice as much garlic in there. <laughs> Just because I Mom, might. You're... Come on. Oof. Oh man, it smells so great now that we have the garlic out. Okay, set this aside and then I'm going to make sure I have all the directions correctly. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a little more soy sauce and hot sauce in here for the. Uh, because I used, I think, more. I used a little bit more than it called for in, uh, of the veggies. So I just want to make sure I kind of match that. It's, I don't think it's critical. If it is, I'll find out here shortly. <laughs> and the reason why I say I've made the stir fry before but not 
this is I tend to, I've had in the past bought uh, like stir fry. We have some stir fry stuff that's already made. So I'll tend to use that. Uh, and it's funny cause I was, I was talking to Heidi the other day about the egg rolls and she said instead of cutting up all the stuff for the egg rolls, she cheated and bought, I think she said she bought coleslaw mix at the store. Ooh, that's smart. Which is really is smart if you don't want to cut it and it's still cheaper than eating out. I hate cutting coleslaw. All right, so, doo -doo -doo, where's my spoon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll use the bigger spoon. Oh man, you are making a big mess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need one cup of water here. Actually, Mike is kind of messy in the kitchen. Rosemary pin Pinto or Pinto or Pinto, it depends on where you're at. Um, it says how to track a book. Uh, how to track a book order? We I think so. Generally, we uh, if we sh when we ship them, we s it email you a tracking number. Uh, if you ordered it from, there are a few left from Saturday that haven't shipped, and then everything from then on, some of it has shipped and some hasn't from then on. Uh, we had a, we discovered about eight or ten of them from last week that we thought had shipped and have not. So uh, if you check your email, probably in your spam filter if you can't find it. Uh, but if you don't find it there, you can contact us and we will look it up for you. But if you just ordered in the, if you just ordered in the classic dining on a dime sale, uh, it should be on the way unless you ordered it in the last few days. Oh, I've been ignoring well, Facebook. Sorry, you haven't shipped everything from Saturday on. Right, yet, that's what I'm so. saying. Basically, part of Saturday and Sunday and Monday orders are not all shipped yet. So, who's but the ones we shipped before oh. that. They're shipped, but probably won't be there. There are some priority orders from last week that we discovered somehow uh, did not get shipped. Oops, I was supposed to mix that. I'm not paying attention. Um, they did not end up getting shipped then, so we're going to be shipping those out to, in the first thing in the morning. Okay, sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. Stir for test into one cup of water and add to bowl. So I was supposed to do this separately according to the instructions, but I'm sure it won't hurt anything. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start the pan here. And it says one tablespoon of oil. And you can measure it if you want, I guess I will, but usually I just put some in there. Uh, and on the oil, I'm not sure, I know you can use canola oil and vegetable oil. You probably could use uh, some other oils, but I'm not sure which ones. If you use, Certain ones, they'll scorch. Oh, it's Emery oh, Wilkes' birthday. You can use olive oil? I thought you could. I just didn't want to say that for sure. Um, all right. Yes. It's Emily Wilkes' birthday, so we got to... Ooh, happy birthday, Emily. Happy birthday, Emily. I will write that down. Okay, so uh, simmer the oil with ginger and garlic over medium heat. That's what I'm doing now. So this is the ginger and the garlic. Actually, I should have heated up the oil first, but... It it would have been better if I had heated up the oil first, but I'm what? slightly disorganized at the moment. Okay. Hey, just being honest. All right. Now, why is it when I'm honest, everybody yells at me? Wow, I have a huge loves... mess here because that's the way I roll. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got to do the meat, too. So Dude. why is it that the recipe says put the meat in last? Because I usually put the meat in first. Because it's already cooked and you don't want it to get dried out. Oh. All right. Uh, okay, so it says a half a cup. I'm just going to grab a handful. It's probably about a half a cup. Ooh, a bone. All right. Yeah, and tell them how they made that yesterday. They would be Oh, yes. Me. So Tar did not do it on the show, obviously. But she made the chicken in Instapot, <laughs> which she thought would be appealing to everyone who knew about her Instapot tragedies. <laughs> And actually, she hasn't mentioned it lately, but Heidi was suggesting that I should make something in the Instant Pot, or maybe she was talking about Tara when she gets back, but... I think we need to talk about the government shutdown. Yeah, Heidi suggested that, and I was thinking, yeah, I don't know, do we want to really have all that controversy? <laughs> yes, we do. 
Okay. Well, he gets all of you. It's not, like... <laughs> not really. Okay. Oh man, you should save some of that. So meat. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just waiting for this to kind of simmer a little bit. Take a piece. The thing on the garlic, oh. I don't know about the ginger, but for the garlic, you don't want to overcook it. So as soon as it seems like it's kind of brown angle, I'm gonna turn it down just a little. Can't it burn? It can easily burn, can and then burn. it gets nasty. It's like butter. And butter does too. It can just burn. Ooh, what would happen if I dropped the tail of Dad's computer? Dad would kill you. <laughs> so this also says uh, vegetables starting with the color. firmest, and honestly, I'd say the the least firm is w the cabbage, which I cut first. So that's at the bottom of the bowl. So it was serendipity that I did it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, that smells good already. Anybody actually know what serendipity means? Okay, let's Google that. <laughs> I know what, what it means. What does serendipity mean? Oh. The occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy in a happy or beneficial way. Oh. Well, I don't know if I believe in by chance, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, Buster, go on up. You don't think it was serendipity that you met me at the at the? No, I think God brought you to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm waiting. I don't want this to burn, but it looks like it's just about right. All right. And because I'm about to put some frozen veggies in, it's going to cool it off real fast. Uh, and the idea is to cook this enough to uh, kind of lightly soften everything, but not to where it's all mushy. Or at least that's my goal. <laughs> different people prefer different things, but I'm going to do it that way. So. Go ahead and throw these in. Oh, I should have put the onions in first because they're the ones that cooking them down would be a good idea. Yum. Wow, that's looking really colorful. Oh, wow. You just buried all that up. Garlic. I did. And of course, the instructions say to mix it with a little bit of water between each phase, but I'm a hashtag rebel, so there you go. <laughs> This is the mic show. We don't need <laughs> this that. This is the mic show. We don't need no stinking instructions. Oh, wait, that's the tar show. <laughs> I was waiting to see. She didn't even see that. Wow. Look how colorful that is. That's just beautiful. So Mike was thinking how much I miss having something that's like a stove right in front of the camera. <laughs> Wanda says, I know what Tara's opinion of the government is. Get it together, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't oh, man. get... I'm having a really hard time keeping my mouth shut on that one. <laughs> I don't get why people care about it. I mean, maybe I'm just a teen and people think I'm an edgy teen or something, but... Ooh. I don't get why it's such a big deal. I mean, well... You know what? Let's, uh, no, no controversy right now. Mom's gonna discuss that after she comes back. Let's yeah, just we'll, say that. we'll do that later. Yeah. Well, never mind. Just. Mm. <laughs> so Mike's just ignoring the conversation and moving on with the veggies. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this smells really good, guys. Man, I wish we had smell vision for you. See, this is. I was just feeling like vegetables and chicken and stuff, and this will be perfect. And actually, we have rice, and I was gonna. Just microwave a little bit of rice that we've made earlier and just display it on a little plate so you can see it over rice. But I probably won't eat it over rice today. Well, maybe I will. Why not? Well, I don't know. Just, well, maybe I will eat it over the rice. Out in the nuker, right here. I was just looking at all these yummy, delicious vegetables. And I'm oh, not... we're going low carb today. <laughs> well, I'd like to say that. So far, I've been low carb today. Not not necessarily trying real hard, but I was inspired by Tommy Alderman, but not inspired enough. Just to just inspire everyone in Washington to start over. Yeah. I think I should be president. <laughs> Dude, if you were president, oh my goodness, this country would decline so fast. No, because I would get it together. Well... I mean, Everybody would you be wearing hats? Hashtag get it together, people. Any questions or comments really? in there while you're looking? Look, particularly look on Facebook because they go off the screen. Oh, yeah, I should go look on Facebook. And I'm following the directions in, on medium, but I kind of like to go a little bit closer to medium high. But you have to watch it a lot more carefully if you do. 
Mm. Man, that smells so yummy delicious. Oh, hey, while it's doing that, I'm going to run over here and see. I think I actually have one of those other sauces. You're on, Dave. No. Actually, here's oh, one right no. here. Man, this oh. would be good on that, actually. Uh, these are the kinds of sauces when I say I cheat. Uh, a lot of times I'll just use a sauce like this. And I think I discovered some of those sauces just because in the past, when I was more successfully losing weight, I, uh, I would try out all different kinds of sauces like that and use them to create variety where I otherwise didn't have it. Like for, it seems to me when I have success losing weight, I'm particularly like chicken and rice and vegetables. And then I'll use different seasonings to make them taste different. So that's when I bought those. So I might have to try that. But I actually made this part of the sauce for out of the cookbook here, although it doesn't have the peanut butter like I said, so. Hmm, smells good. Man, that is delicious. All right, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this. See how well it's doing. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for that because I'm copying and pasting comments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the veggies are still crunchy, which is my preference. I have to say, I think I want a little more garlic in there. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for mom to come back. <laughs> What's this that? Is great. People. People are making comments about the government shutdown, and I am copying and pasting them on documents. So then, mm. Yeah. So Mama have good material when she gets so, back. So yeah, Mama have good debate material. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. There was that on the Save on Groceries group that we have. There was just a huge amount of discussion about it. It ended up being a fight between a lot of people, so Heidi had to shut that down. It is something very delicious, Jack. Well, it could be an issue, but... What is it? You know. I am making stir fry. And I think you should try it. Okay. Okay, nice. Quick, guys. Let's get him to try it while he's agreeable. I'm going to stir this a little more. Yum. Okay, I want to turn this down a little because I don't want it to burn. It smells awesome. It does smell awesome, doesn't it? Um, Leanne, this is on Facebook. So this is on Facebook and it's about to scroll off. So I Tell really me. need to say this quick. Um, Le Leanne? Oh, come on, scroll up. Hang on. Um, the, the person said, I would be interested in hearing what your opinions are on a kitchen redo, what you would definitely think should be included, and how it's placed. Power. <laughs> lots and lots of power. He said power. Actually, I have a brilliant idea. Mom has a brilliant idea. Okay, so I know this isn't my show and I'm not on here, but what I would do is I would extend my countertops back another 15 inches. And have a wall so that all my appliances could line up along the back wall and have little roll top doors that come up and down so that you have all your appliances there and plugged in and you don't have to lift them up and down and everything. Isn't that brilliant? Yep. Ooh, it smells so good. Doesn't it smell delish? Actually, it does smell very good. I added more garlic, people, because I realized for the mic man. What was it? Two cloves of garlic is not enough. I originally put in four, and after tasting it, I ended up putting in four more. So you can modify this pretty easily. And I had my, do you have the uh, the notes with the links? Because it in there I wrote a couple suggestions of things that I thought about. You can use frozen vegetables. No, it's on the uh, the text document I sent you. No, I didn't. There was. You can use uh, mixed vegetables. You can use. Broccoli and carrots and things like that. I'm not sure we see. Oh, there it is. Um, I didn't get it before. I there was one that looked really good to me when I saw a picture of it today, and it was. Um, I need to download it. Hmm. It's on this list that I'm asking Dave for. So. Sorry, it's taking a sec. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, I was wondering if I should save a little of this out and try the other sauce on it too. Go for it. Whoa, this plate? is formatted really weird. Hang on. Let me just open Yum. it up and dry it. Okay, what are you looking for? Right near the top of my list. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, mushrooms and broccoli I saw on a picture. It looked amazing. Mushrooms, broccoli, squash, and it would, frozen vegetables. And I added, also I mentioned squash. Squash would be good stir fried. Like yellow squash and zucchini. What about pork? <laughs> I don't know. Pork is an okay for me. Honestly, I Yeah, would but if think you want to it make it really good, good you but... do squash instead. Okay, so I'm going to oh, pull... Do. I'm going to pull just a little bit of this out because I want to try it with that other Could sauce. Could you do bacon? Yeah, good. Oh, bacon stir fry? Yeah, bacon stir fry. Why not? I guess it would work. I just never thought of that before. I'm taking just a little of this out because I'm going to use that Thai basil stir fry sauce that I had and see what that's like. But first, I'm going to go ahead and put the sauce in that we made here. And I'm going to be a little cautious about how much I put in because I didn't put peanut butter. I don't want to drown it with the sauce. Oops. And the sauce is cold, so it's settled down a little bit here. Oh, that's working its way out. Mike is like a kid in kindergarten. You know, my best paintings come from a big mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see. On this rice, we often cook this ahead of time. And then if it seems a little bit crispy, we'll add just a little bit of water and then microwave it for a couple minutes. And that'll steam it up real nice. It's actually, if it sits in the fridge for a couple days, it kind of dries out. Or at least here in Colorado, it does. All right. Okay, Buster, move along, boy. Boy! Yum. Oh, what was the painter that just splattered paint on the thing? Um, What's his name? Uh, there were, I thought there were a number of them that do that. Well, there were a number of them who like did them strategically. But there was one that just splattered it on there. Okay, Dave, that's a so hairdo like, not known to nature. Huh? That's a hairdo not known to nature. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. There we go. But there was a, there is some artist that, and his paintings were like worth a few million dollars, but he would just splatter oh, paint on Oh, I totally forgot to put the cabbage in. Oh, dude, dude come on. Oh, I saw that Get in there. Get it together, people. Oh, man. All right, so I just added the cabbage because I hadn't put it in before, but that's okay. I was going to say, you're that guy of cooking. <laughs> so, like an awesome thing. Just... what that will mean is that the cabbage will be a little crunchier than the other stuff, unless I let the other stuff get a little mushier. And I don't really want mushy, so... Oh, man, this really it looks still good looks now. Good. Man, smells look at that, guys. For sure. Woo! It really smells It's looking good. really nice, and it's smelling good. So, any comments or questions? It seems more lively when I'm on the chat. Yes, Nan, Buster does want to catch the scraps. Yum. Just chilling here, waiting for something to drop on the floor. Yeah, it's funny, I also thought when I was looking at making the tacos or whatever, I was realizing I often make a lot of things where I'll grill chicken and I'll put garlic and salt and... Um, Tara has garlic salt. But I usually put more garlic than that. Uh, garlic and salt, and then I, uh, I'll put like peppers sliced up and stuff like that, and then just put it over rice. Amy says, "How to keep the vampires away?" A cooking lesson with my. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, I will never have problems with vampires. That's for sure. And you know, he's not a vampire either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna throw some rice on here on this plate. I'm all messy. Oh, okay. I'm putting some rice on a plate here, but I'm not having tar, well, Jack or whoever turned the camera down just yet. Actually, I should put that in the center so it looks more posed. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna take this off now because I don't want to overdo it. Oh, yum. Why didn't you add the peanut butter? So I don't like peanut butter, so I did not add any. But if, if you like it, go ahead. It does actually make the sauce a little thicker. But don't you eat no big fudge? 
I eat no bake fudge cookies without if, if it's oh, whoever come might on. Eat me to that. I'm actually kind of picking <laughs> out some colored things to stick them on there so it looks even prettier in the bowl or on the plate. Oh man, that's just that's yummy looking. I almost used the wrong word. <laughs> oh, do I dare test it now without you being able to take a picture of it? Ooh. Yeah, but if I take a picture, it'll have all that in the background. Here. Don't worry, we still have enough to put on the. So this plate. is what it looks like. It's steaming. This version of it. It's steaming. Well, Come if on. you're gonna taste it, you have to taste it on camera no, so we can not. see the delicious expression on your face. Well, this is a work meal, though. <laughs> is it? All right. Well, good grief! Keep it in the chicken. Ow! Whoa. Ah! Oh, She's not here, folks, but there she is. Okay, I'm gonna try this and see if it actually meets my satisfaction. <laughs> I had a funny idea. Mm, mm, mm. That's really good. So, it does need more salt. But the veggies are really nice because, especially with the onions and the garlic and stuff, it really adds. Uh, kind of a fresh flavor to it. Uh, here. here, you do it because I can never. This thing is so, yeah. This one's yum. Too open. Mmm. Hey. Huh? I thought you couldn't eat that right now. That's why I'd be careful what I was picking out. So, oh yeah, Tara's doing an elimination diet at the moment. So, mmm. Mm mmm. -hmm. So I'm gonna try. Actually, I might just put this on the edge here. This. Thai stir basil or Thai style basil. I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge here and see, since it's already got that. And it won't really, I don't think it'll hurt to add this. This is a sweet sauce, but I don't think it'll hurt to add it on top of what I just did. If I had peanut butter in it, it might, because the peanut butter has a pretty strong taste. So, mm. uh, the cool thing about the stir fry thing is you can put really all different kinds of vegetables in it. Mmm. Dwee. So that sauce is sweeter, but personally, it's this birthday candle. Hmm. They're both really good. Yum. Oh, we, uh, we can use that as a birthday candle. There's one on Whose the birthday table. is it? Oh wait. Oh no, this one's prettier. Mm -hmm. hey, Yum. Uh, I forget. I have to look at the birthdays. It was a. So. It was a different. I've never seen this name before. I hate I to don't keep think. teasing everybody with the Mexican food thing, but. I really have a desire to make the tacos. <laughs> Tara's laughing at me. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, if your birthday is like within the next two days or before next show, post it in the comments and we'll sing you happy birthday. Because, you know, yeah, just want to make sure I didn't miss anyone while I like this. Ooh, Torrid says it's really cold and I've got a ton of snow in Norway. Oh, Lucky. Torrid, it's good to, good to hear from you. Uh, it's funny, somebody ordered a, somebody in, in Norway, other than you, ordered a book the other day, and I was wondering if that's anybody you know. Okay. You can All right, ready? That. Who are we singing to? Wait, 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 wait. Well, um, mm. You like it? Love it. Good. Wait, wait. Wow. So Jack says he loves it too. How much of it did you eat? Mm. I have quite a bit of it. Yay. Well, Jack, tell everybody that real quick. Anyone got a birthday? No I loved it. <laughs> so Jack normally would be less inclined to eat something out of his usual comfort zone, but he was smelling it and he said, that uh -oh. smells really good. I want some Wait, of that. Mom, you're not supposed to be checking comments. It's... I know, I'm not. Whose birthday was it? Uh, it was, wait, let me check. It was Emery Wilkes. Oh, Emery. All right, cool. And that's all, nobody else, right? Yeah, and the street is good. Hmm? The street is out of sync. Um, it's, it's sketchy? It's out of sync, but well, we can sing this first. Jack, come here. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emery Wilkes. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, same last name. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Blow it out, Jack. All three of them. Oh, wait. Actually, let me check, make sure no one else has it. If you see anyone else, we'll do that. Um, if, it's, I didn't, Jack it, has an invention he wants to show Dad. So are other people saying it's out of sync or you? Someone was saying in Facebook that it was out of sync. Because a lot of times if it's out of sync, if you refresh, it'll fix it, unless it's happening to everybody. Um, Sandra Seely's birthday is on the 26th. All right, we'll do that too. Actually, so the 26th. Oh yeah, that's this Saturday. 
Here, let's grab the lighter again. One more time. Here, we're gonna get the lighter, Jack. Open the drawer. Dude, Jack is in this phase lately. The, I'm gonna prevent you. The, I'm gonna be annoyed. The, I'm gonna hug you whether you want it or not phase. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? So wait, oh, wait Sandra, oh, right? Wait, wait, yeah, Sandra. One more time. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear Sandra. Sandra. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Blow it out, Jack. Yeah, many people are having sync issues. Uh oh. All right. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yay! We're good. Was it only on Facebook or on both? Uh, on both for a second. Hmm. Okay. Jack wants to show his invention he made. Oh, Jack wants to show an invention an invention he made. And does anybody have any, is there anything anyone asks? If you want to ask any questions of us while we're here, you'd be happy to do that. We discovered something with Tara not being on the shows is that <clears throat> it's very tiring and wearing for her to have to talk a lot. <laughs> we also discovered it's kind of that way for Dave, but it's not that way for Mike. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, oh, I totally zoned out. Whoops, sorry. Half-hour shows when I come back. Doc? Yeah, so Tara says half-hour shows when she comes back. What? Mickey! Should we sing to Mickey, too? <gasps> we'll sing to Mickey, too. But you oh, show your yeah, thing I here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh. Slightly. So we'll sing yep. in just a second, Mickey. After this. So Jack wants a full demonstration room here. <laughs> okay, so tell him what it is. So this is the uh, trash chute. <laughs> trash chute? trash a shoot. Mm -hmm. It's a parachuting trash can. <laughs> so so I have this simulation trash here. Okay. So throw that in there. And then Woo! parachutes down. Successfully and why parachutes. would you need a parachuting trash can? Uh, <laughs> maybe if you're like Maybe if you're like parachuting from a plane, then you need to somewhere to carry your trash. You want to you keep go. your trash handy? Okay. <laughs> you told me a different reason when you were first making it, didn't you? Yeah. That you said if you accidentally drop it or something? Yeah, but well, I've changed it. Oh, you changed your mind? <laughs> Found an idea you like better. <coughs> cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, so there's any conversation here? Mike's okay with conversation. We'll see it's, what's going it's on. It's Mickey's birthday. Oh, right, Mickey. Don't forget. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Not forgetting you, Mickey. Okay. Come on, Jack. One more time. Hopefully. Maybe. Just for you, Mickey. Jack, come here. Uh-oh, he's running away. Hold on. He's coming? I'm coming. Oh, I thought he said he was bringing something. No. <laughs> nope. All right. Oh, okay. Come here, Jack. Dun, dun, dun. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mickey. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Happy birthday, Mickey. Here, blow out the candles. Okay, we'll have these guys do it for you. There, there we go. go. All right. I was going to like try to do it at a distance so you couldn't see me blow it, but... I ex yeah, I was at the camera. <laughs> huh. If you live on the 20th floor and the no. elevator is broken, this is perfect. What? <laughs> this elevator just parachute trash. Oh, Jack, yes, that is beautiful. Uh, Lazarus, yes, we are a Christian family. Um, oh, actually, I forgot. Your mom says your brother doesn't eat peanut butter either. No, he doesn't. Uh, no, Eddie, I did put the chicken in. Um, I put the chicken in, I put in the vegetables, and then I put in the chicken, and then after, uh, after the vegetables had kind of uh, stir-fried a little bit, then I put the chicken in with it, and then I realized I hadn't put in the uh, cabbage, so I ended up putting the cabbage on afterwards. So maybe that might be why you missed me putting in the chicken. Uh, but it turned out fine because cabbage is really thin, so it didn't really need to cook a whole lot. And if you cook it too much, it'll get squishy. And I'm just not very fond of squishy, so it's funny because uh, I think Tara likes, a lot of times Tara likes kind of soups and stews and things like that, and I'm more like grilled things and things that are, you know, uh, something like kind of brown, more browned and a little bit more crunchy, so. And it's funny because like for 
uh, macaroni when I make it for the boys. If I were making it for my, if I make pasta for myself, I like it pretty al dente, you know, pretty stiff. Not like, not like you're just eating it out of the, out of the package stiff, but. We do just perfect. Well, me and Jack do. But I know <laughs> some people, and I make it for you. Do you like it when I make it for you? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I like it when you make like macaroni for us because you, you leave extra like the liquid cheese on the bottom and that's really good to mm -hmm. slurp because mm -hmm. you know who doesn't like cheese <laughs> yes Karen I may have to try this recipe out of dining on a dime I usually don't like stir-fry but since none of the recipes have failed maybe I'd actually like this version yeah and the, the nice thing about it is if you see if you're not real fond of one thing wow I made another show book <laughs> stir-fry has stir-fry sample on it on page 267 <laughs> um, but oh by the way share the go ahead and share the link again um, do we have enough um, it, if you don't like some of the stuff that's in it, you can easily substitute. And actually, there are whole combinations that are different than this. Like this has, uh, well, I would probably keep the ginger and the garlic because that I think kind of makes it have that more stir fry taste. But this one has celery, onions, green peppers, and cabbage. Uh, I, I might put in mushrooms, onions, and broccoli. Or um, you could put carrots and broccoli and it just all those kinds of things are really good stir fry things and it you can put leftover meat in there which is what we did today we used our chicken that tar cooked in the instant pot if you use if you had grilled meat or something that had uh, some kind of smoky flavor with it that would probably add a really nice touch to it as well five minutes uh oh my introverted assistant doesn't want to keep going for too long <laughs> oh i yeah, forgot we have to ship books tonight getting exhausted and uh so yeah we're shipping books so we had that sale for the um, <clears throat> the Dining on a Dime Classic Editions that ended Monday, and uh oh, uh -oh. Um, and we we had a huge number of orders right on the last day, which was a okay. co coincidentally a postal holiday here in the United States. So we're finishing up the shipping today. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yep. Junior. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay. Yep. And. I think, is it also President's Day or is that a different day? That's February. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Amy T said it's been really nice in Perth, Western Australia. Let's see. Dude, it is. Colorado has just been bipolar for the last week. Like, one day it's snowy and cold and freezing. And then the next day it's super hot and blistering and sunny. And then the next day... It starts out at 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it changes to 56 degrees Fahrenheit in like four hours, five hours. Wow. Colorado is just crazy. Uh, Megan, Mike, I've seen mac and cheese made on a sheet pan. It's crunchy. Haven't tried it, but you might like the texture better. I probably would. Although, Ooh. sadly, I'm trying to stay away from uh, most wheat-based things, not because I have a wheat problem particularly, but just um, I really kind of need to cut back on the calories. So, Mike, about the show book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone says another giveaway. That's hilarious. Uh, Joyce says, last couple recipes can be modified for me, vegan. Actually, there are a lot of... Just excellent. There are a lot of these recipes that you can modify various ways. Like, we don't claim that it's not a vegan cookbook or a gluten-free cookbook or whatever. But, but you can substitute. We stuff. have so many people. There's actually a substitutions chapter in there. Uh, we have so many people tell us, you know, that they modify it for their particular thing, which is really awesome. Um, we, oh, actually, it's funny, we haven't been getting very much snow in Colorado, but yesterday we got kind of, it was a dusting in most places, although I think between here and the boys, or in between here and uh, Jack's school, there was enough that they couldn't go, and I had to take him a little bit later. But tomorrow we're supposed to get more, so we'll see. So Saturday is Australia Day. Happy Australia Day, everybody. Happy Australia Day. And All right. Saturday is Jamie's anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, Jamie. Jamie. So we'll have to figure out how to celebrate Australia Day. Let's see. Do we make some... <laughs> what food do they have in Australia? See, make you and some... Linda have something in common. Well, what do they have in Australia? Linda says my mic likes to talk, too. Oh, have mercy <laughs> if you guys only knew... They barbecue in Australia. That'd be all right. Oh, what do they barbecue? Show them the world's biggest banana. If you've ever Actually, seen. Rhonda, I tried to persuade her that, and we'll see how it goes. Rhonda says, no half-hour shows. You do half and let Mike do half. <laughs> 
See, Mike would be happy to be Jeff on the wants Tara. To show you guys something. And then well, keep on talking. Mom wanted me to show you this, but Okay, show it. Oh yeah. Apparently mom calls us the world's biggest banana. I and think it is. You can see it's Did, really fat. These are just abnormally long bananas. Wasn't there another one that was They're long. I ate it. There was one that Wait, was Wait, let me longer. see that. Is that an organic tag too? Yeah. yeah so they're really organic good. bananas too, and they're gigantic. They're like, like a foot long. They're freak of nature bananas. That's pretty awesome. No, they're definitely not. Oh, Sagittarian like, says yeah. Vegemite. Three fourths. Wow. Do we want to have Vegemite to celebrate? Ooh. No. Jada, steak and sausages. That sounds yummy. Steak and I'm all about steak and sausages, so both of those would be great. <laughs> Sagittarian shrimp. <laughs> shrimp on the Barbie. Huh? Are you actually from Australia? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I've heard that too, although that sounds a little bit like the leprechauns in Ireland. <laughs> so, kangaroo steaks. Oh, is that true, Music Mad? Wait, you guys are allowed to eat kangaroo? Mm -hmm. Well, know. Music Mad's in New Zealand, but nevertheless. Oh, oh. I didn't they know you could eat kangaroo, do they? Mm, uh, they well, might. I didn't know I don't you could know. eat kangaroo yeah. meat. I thought that was different. Like, <laughs> I didn't know you were. Yeah. That'd be interesting to try eventually. Mm, yeah. I reheated lasagna today and it got all crunchy and was delish. Okay, yeah. It's time. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Jack wants to give a review of this banana. It's like a normal banana, but the taste yeah. is a little bit more out. Banana -y. Actually, yeah. they don't taste very good, I don't think. Thank you, December baby. I appreciate that. Great. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like so yeah. Dave's ready to go. So I'm just curious. The other day we were on, uh, last Friday we came on and did a, mostly it was a technical test show, but I thought about occasionally doing that oh, and right. not necessarily with the formal topic. Would that be something you guys would want to do? I, if we don't have a formal topic, I wasn't sure. Is it interesting just to sit around and chit chat? <laughs> Oh, Shannon, Mike, you're a great cook. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, M and JP, I'm sorry. Yes, we're about to end the live show. We're actually, uh, we start an hour earlier than that. And it might be a, a daylight savings issue between us and you. Because when we change the daylight savings time, a lot of places don't. Um, ooh, yum. Okay, cool. Well, Dave's ready to go. And so Dave I guess Bob's we'll... also begging us. Yeah. Tara's begging us. <laughs> she wants the kitchen back. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks so much for coming, guys. I've already eaten half of this stir fry, and it's it's delicious. So, uh, be sure and try it. And if you don't have Dining on a Dime, why not? It's in Dining on a Dime cookbook, but it's also on our website. And Dave shared the link, and you can find it in the show notes at livingonadime.com and click show notes. So, Dave, Dave's cutting it. Thanks yeah. a lot. Bye. Letting it run for a second. So filler like content, woo! Yeah. <laughs> We're small talking to each other about, I don't know. If See, if I don't say bye first and then pause, they'll cut me off while I'm still talking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye.